Now guys, being a card thrower isn't cheap. I find myself spending tons and tons of money on these guys right here, playing cards, because they're always denting, breaking, ruining when I throw them into walls, and I'm gonna fix that with a simple trick today. It's easy, simple, and uh, thought, why not? So let's jump right into this video, and you guys are gonna start saving money. in the comment section I constantly get questions of like Nick what, what card should I use because mine keep denting and breaking which you know what, what, what are the strongest cards guys normal bicycle playing cards work just fine you just got to know how to take care of them this trick I discovered quite a while ago I used it in previous videos of mine and I've been using it constantly because it saves me so much money in cards and it already uses an item you probably have in your home a bed sheet that's what it uses it uses a bed sheet now I know what some of you guys are thinking what does a bed sheet have to do with card throwing let me tell you, when you throw cards and say you're throwing at a target and you miss the target, it hits the wall, dents your cards, and your cards are unthrowable, causing you to buy new ones. Now say you hang up that bed sheet, you throw the card, it misses the target that you're aiming for, and it hits the bed sheet, which is moved away from the wall just a little bit, so it acts as a cushion. It absorbs the impact, the cards don't get dented, and, the, dented, and then they fall to the ground. Perfectly fine, your cards will stay completely brand new if you use this method. Now, I don't exactly use this method. What I do is I use a photography background. So those of you guys who know what that is, it's two stands. Two stands go up, I just hang the sheet across, and I lay it. Now, what's nice about that is I don't have to figure out a way to rig the bed sheet in a way because it's already pre-done with this photography background. So if you guys are interested in really stepping your game up and getting something new, I use a green screen. So what I do is I hang the green screen, lay it down behind my target, it absorbs the impact, it's perfect, because then I can move it around, have adjust it to it any size I want. I will link that down below if you guys are interested in buying a green screen photography background just for this purpose. And, hint, hint, some of you guys may be thinking, hey, how do, how do, how do I hang it up? How, how is this ever gonna work? Okay, take a look into your bathroom. For those of you guys who have a shower curtain hanging in your bathroom, there it is. You guys can set up the target right in front of your shower curtain, start throwing cards, and they will be safe and sound and you don't have to worry about buying new packs so enough of me talking about it i'm going to jump into my studio set up the backdrop show you guys how it works and show you guys what's going on so let's jump right into that now guys i'm gonna get my backdrop set up right now now remember mine's a photography backdrop so it comes with these fancy stands a bar across so i can hang it if you guys are hanging it just using a bed sheet you guys just make sure it's away from the wall so the card can hit the bed sheet and not impact the actual wall. You don't want it to come in contact with anything. You just want it to hit the bed sheet so the bed sheet can absorb the hit and the card will stay safe. So try getting it away from the wall by setting something up so you could clamp it too. But remember, mine's a photography backdrop. If you do want to pick that up, I will link it down below. I think it's like decently cheap. So I'm going to do it right now and I'm going to speed it up. So I'll see you guys after I set the whole thing up. And that's that. You see how simple that was? It's super fast, super efficient. It's up, ready to go. And all I do is add that extra little thing. It took a little bit of time. I set it up, and I'm gonna be saving a bunch of money in cards. All right, so now say in this scenario, I turn around, I start throwing my cards at the target. And say I start to miss. Just like that. And I'm like, oh no, I'm missing. I hope I didn't ruin my cards. I'm looking at it right now, none of the cards that I just threw have any dents, any bends, any nothing. Because if you could see, the See how it absorbs the impact of the card? The card will bounce off and land semi in front of it, so you're not gonna have the cards bounce and shoot into the next room, because I know if they hit a wall, they'll bounce and fly off. None of that with this backdrop. So, just by doing that, you can have a nice little backdrop that will hang, your cards will stay safe, your walls will stay safe, because remember, if you're throwing cards hard enough, they can actually hurt, harm the wall, dent, put dead dents, scratches in the wall. It's a great way to save your walls, save your cards, and uh, save some money. Again, you guys can also, if you want, you could use a shower curtain. So go into your bathroom, set up the target in front of your shower curtain, open it up, and start to throw cards. It will hit the shower curtain, absorb the hit, and you won't ruin any of your cards. So, again, if you want this backdrop, I will link it down below. You can also use a bed sheet and your shower curtain. So guys, that is basic. That is basically that. Don't know what that was, but that's basically that. So I hope this helped. I hope you guys are doing this, saving your cards. I don't want to see you guys spending too much money on cards. I know I do. I did for the longest time until I discovered this. So start using this technique, and you guys will be uh, guys will be pro card throwers in no time. Make sure you're to subscribe if you're not already. If you want to join the card throwing master wizard army, and also hit that like button. Guys, also I'm doing private lessons. So uh, if you guys want to be a part of that private lessons, two Skype calls a, a month, me and you one on one, I could improve your card throwing, help you out. Go check out my Patreon page. And if not, 
you guys can do all other you guys get a bunch of rewards if you guys want to support me because this is my job this is what i do and i would love to continue creating content so if you guys want to go support me through patreon i would love that that'd be awesome i'll link that down below as well and uh, at the end of the video so thank you guys so much for this i also want to thank my patreons that made this video possible so I'll put them up right here check those guys out thank you so much to all you guys who are supporting these videos this is them this is my this is my squad so if you want to join that squad go check out my patreon and uh that's basically that so i hope this helped i hope this tutorial tuesday helped make sure to stay tuned there's a bunch more stuff coming out some good stuff let's stay tuned let's get it let's crush this youtube game and let's uh let's continue throwing our cards and uh and being awesome i'll see you guys in the next video